So it took me a little longer to read this book, Woes of the True Policeman, and then I wrote a review and I was surrounded by a lot of people and couldn't record a video. But here it is. Um, I got it out of the library a couple weeks ago. This is Roberto Bologna's last book. It is actually a compilation of a few different manuscripts. Roberto Bologna died at the age of 50 in 2003, and um, editors put this together. Even though this is his last book, it's actually the first one I've read. I do have The Savage Detectives on my bookshelf, but decided this would be a fun book to review on the blog, so I checked it out. Something I love about this book is that it's made up of very short chapters, and often those chapters feature different characters from chapter to chapter. So it's a book that's about an academic, but it's also a book that's academic in its own right. It's about history and research, and the way we acquire knowledge and pass it down. At one point, Amalfitino, our protagonist, does a translation of a novel by a fictitious French author, J.M.G. Archimboldi. He translates this work while Archimboldi is still mostly unknown in South America, but later he becomes quite famous. This is just one example of how Amalfitino constantly misses the boat academically. He doesn't ever quite seem to be in the right place or the right time to please others with his work, or himself. This isn't a new feeling, but maybe this is a new context for it. When we think about academia, we think about experts in the field. We think about people chipping away at the unknown and adding slowly, piece by piece, to our knowledge base. But the truth is it depends a lot on who wants to know what and when they want to know it. Amalfitino just wasn't translating our Kimbledy when other South American academics cared. This book shows how much the community matters in terms of research. Even in these crazy specialized fields, scholars are constantly searching for work that will interest their peers. This means that many projects might get started or abandoned based on the ideas of others and not your own personal interests. Still, I think this book is largely a celebration of academia. Because so much of the history and culture of academia in this book is about power play, it also becomes a celebration of survival of moving around and finding your own way. It's about knowing who you are and accepting when that person changes. It's about lovers, literally, and also about lovers of literature and culture. An entire section of this book is dedicated to this fictitious author, Archimboldi, to a synopsis of his work and his hobbies, interviews, things like that. About halfway through this section, I started to find it a little boring. I was looking for the main narrative to return and show me how this fit in and why it was relevant. But perhaps Bologna's idea is that these things are celebrations on their own. The catalog is an act of attention in itself, an act of love that perhaps doesn't need any excuse. This is Woes of the True Policeman, and you're watching Brave Little Books.